Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back each weekday at 10 a.m. for a new topic and a new conversation. My name is Sue. I'm a volunteer docent at the Art Museum. Today, I'd like to introduce you to this lily pond floor lamp created by Lewis Comfort Tiffany sometime between 1906 and 1910. First things first, let's talk about that Tiffany name. You might be wondering if this lamp designer is the same Tiffany as the jewelry designer. Well, the answer is they're related. Charles Tiffany was the founder of the famous luxury retail store, which opened in 1837, while his son, Louis Comfort Tiffany, started Tiffany Glass and Decorating Company, which was founded 55 years later in 1892. So let's take a closer look at this lamp. It was created in the Art Nouveau style, which was an art movement that lasted about 20 years around the turn of the century from 1890 to 1910. One of the hallmark characteristics of the Art Nouveau style was to bring the outdoors inside, and here we can see that Tiffany has done just that. He's used a lily pond and lily flowers as his inspiration. If we take a closer look at the base, we can see extremely detailed lily pads overlapping each other. They look as if they could be floating on the water right now. As we move up the center column of the lamp, we see what appears to be roots or flower stems bundled together and gently twisted so that our eye is guided upward to the top of the lamp. Here we find 10 beautiful hand-blown glass lampshades, each held in place by a bronze calyx, which is exactly how a flower secures its petals in place when found in nature. You might notice a shimmering opalescence on the surface of each glass shade. Tiffany was a master in creating glass finishes and patented many of his studio's techniques. In our lamp, each glass shade is pointed downward towards the wall or the floor. This style of lamp would not have been possible to create if not for the invention of the incandescent light bulb. Prior to the availability of light bulbs, Tiffany was designing lamps that burned kerosene. For our lily pond lamp, it would have been impossible to drive the lamp shades downward and burn kerosene at the same time. Tiffany Studios was in production for about 40 years and all of that time overlapped with the Art Nouveau movement. Work coming out of the Tiffany Studio was handcrafted and could be personalized to fit your personal taste and decor. While this may have been pleasing to Tiffany Glass customers, it also made production slow, time-consuming, and expensive. Eventually, tastes changed and Tiffany products were no longer sought after. The studios closed in 1932 and Tiffany died just one year later. As we wrap up today's discussion, knowing that Tiffany Studios produced a lot of one-of-the-kind works for their customers, what lamp would you ask them to create for you? What colors and finishes would you pick today, and where would you place it in your home? I'd love to see your answers in the comments below.